Hey y'all, this is uh, Mole Trap. This is a match between um, Nada and uh, Dark Elf that I'm going to be doing right now, commentating. And um, I'm almost afraid to commentate this match because I've been going out of my way to, to uh, comment the, the games that my favorite player has been playing and it seems like whenever I do, they lose. Um, I commentated like two Nada games, he lost both of them, and then uh, I didn't commentate one of his games, and he won it, um, so hopefully I haven't jinxed uh, Nada. Maybe I should root for Dark Elf in this game or something. Um, anyways. So this is Dark Elf, by the way, in Teal on the uh, 2.30 position, and Nada's going to be in green. So that'll be fun to try and tell them apart if anything gets crazy. Um, <coughs> yeah, Dark Elf, I, I honestly don't really know that much about Dark Elf, other than I remember the last game that he played, he got kind of slaughtered. And, uh, <coughs> yeah, I, have, I just haven't really watched much of him. He's kind of been going under the radar, under my radar at least, so I'm sorry I can't tell you too much about him. Nada, of course, is the great, wonderful Nada. Uh, one of my favorite players, that's why I'm sad he's been losing so much lately. I really, really like his style of play. When, he, when he's on, he is really, really on, and um, just always fun to watch. And uh, he's kind of like Boxer in that even when he loses, he's, he usually is doing something interesting, and, and it's, um, you know, it's not a bad game. So, <laughs> expecting, hopefully it'll be uh, he's partially interesting here. Um, looks like uh, Dark Elf uh, is going, both of them going for their barracks, we're seeing a little bit of a mirror build here. Probably both of them going for their factories pretty quickly after the barracks to um, actually Dark Elf will behind on the refinery there. Um, but yeah, we're probably going to see them both go into uh, sort of mech stuff, you know, vultures, Elias, and tanks. Um, that's where we hopefully will see something interesting. We've seen Nada do some cool stuff with uh, going two facts and getting, like, uh, speed upgrade mine vultures and doing some cool stuff with that. Um, yeah, so hopefully something interesting will happen. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Nada, unfortunately, uh, by the way, this game, uh, well, first of all, I mentioned it's on Persona, that's the one that has those neutral dark swarms, so that could play a role, it makes it, uh, so that players can kind of contain each other on their own ramps until the tanks get out, so it's usually not that big of a deal, but it, it makes it interesting, at least. Um, the other thing I was going to mention is that this is actually a, basically a dead game. Um, their group, this group, has already been decided. Jadong and Stork have advanced in this group, so really this game is just a matter of honor, I guess, um, to see, you know, who, you know, basically, it's just to see if Nada can come out of this group without being completely embarrassed, 0-3, and I'm, I'm pretty sure he can pull that off, uh, especially against Dark Elf, who is not known to be, you know, the greatest, but, uh, We'll have to see, I guess. Um, I'm really, really hoping for him that he can actually pull it off. He, he really probably needs a, a bit of a confidence booster lately since he has been losing a lot of matches, including an ace match for his team uh, a week or two ago. And so that's got to be kind of harsh. Uh, by the way, also, there's a, there's an ex... There's a kind of a... Oh, that's weird. Is that... See, that's the problem with teal and green. I can't tell if that's... It looks like Dark Elf might be actually building a supply depot in Nada's choke to kind of block off uh, reinforcements from getting to his expansion there. There's a little choke, tiny choke point there, and then um, an expansion beyond that, and then there's uh, a ramp with the Dark Swarm on top of it. So, um, yeah, okay, it looks like Dark Elf planning down a proxy factory here, so he probably is going, and he's got two factories in his base. He's upgrading something, probably speed on his um, vultures or something like that, mines perhaps. So, he's definitely going for some kind of a, a quick attack build here. Um, Nada, I'm not sure, it looks like he has not cancelled his, uh, his second expansion. Uh, well, his first expansion, I mean. He hasn't done that. And, uh, 
Dark Elf for some reason uh, attacking things inside the swarm. Um, well, I guess if he's just got him held position there, then that would be why. Uh, anyways, so uh, yeah, Dark Elf definitely trying to pump out a lot of forces here really quick and trying to overwhelm uh, Nada's expansion probably. And um, we'll see if that actually works. Yeah. Oh no, that was actually Nada's supply depot. You can see now in his choke. So maybe he left room, uh, it's hard to tell if there's a little gap there for his forces to walk through. Uh, if that is the case, he might just be putting that supply depot there as, as a, um, a backup measure, so if he needs to fall back to that, he can hold that choke a lot easier. Um, it's, it's really honestly hard to tell. I, I'll need to show it again for me to see if there's a gap there. Or if his forces get out, then we'll tell from that way. Um, but Dark Elf, in the meantime, has a lot of uh, vultures here he's coming in with, and uh, all of them running into the Dark Swarm, a ton of vultures just chilling in the Dark Swarm, attacking each other uselessly. Um, which is kind of funny, but in the meantime, Nada, what he's done is he's actually blocked off Dark Elf's forces by putting his own vultures into that um, Dark Swarm. He's blocked off, yeah, it looks like there might be a gap there. Um, so, he's blocked off Dark Elf's forces, so Dark Elf cannot run into his base with those vultures and uh, just pick off SCVs and, and such. Um, so, well done on his part there. Dark Elf uh, trying to mix things up by falling back and then moving in and, and he's going to have to fall back again. So, so well done on Nada's part um, holding that, that ramp there, using the Dark Swarm to his advantage. And in the meantime, Dark Elf does not have an expansion up, so Nada's going to take a real economic advantage here. Uh, looks like not a planting down some mines, so even if Dark Elf comes in with some tanks or what have you, which he is, that he's that proxy factory has a machine shop on it now. He does have a tank out. Uh, he's sieging right nearby, so that's actually really bad news for Nada because even though that Dark Swarm is going to block um, <coughs> uh, normal ranged attacks, it's not going to block the splash damage. Splash damage is still going to hit those vultures inside. Oh, and Dark Elf has blocked. He's put his his uh, barracks down inside of Nada's base. And this is not good, I'm losing a lot of SCVs there. A ton of vultures coming into his base right now. Um, wow, so uh, Nada coming back with his vultures finally and uh, attacking, but he, he's got mines down to prevent that, prevent that tank from coming in. But, but Nada at a, a little bit of a deficit here as far as vultures go. Uh, Dark Elf having been pumping out a lot of vultures recently. He's having to bring those SCVs back out that he uh, took away from his expansion. He's losing a lot of SCVs, a lot of um, uh, vultures though as well. And, uh, but it looks like, it looks like Nada is probably going to be able to hold this off, although Dark Elf may have reinforcements coming in soon. Uh, it's, I'm sorry, it's really hard to tell who's who, uh, as far as the vultures and what have you. It looks like Nada, oh, and Nada loses all of his vultures and has to GG. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, Alright, I'm going to go, um, jump off a bridge. So, well done Dark Elf, and, um... It was nice knowing you, Nada. Hope you guys enjoyed watching that, even though it kind of sucks. Alright, later.